Reality is illusion and paradox combined, fashioned to allow you a unique experience of self that perpetuates continuity. Hence, the miraculous expression of solidity that is the human experience. The seeming reality consensus is the result of the fact that most people have extremely similar DNA and thus nervous systems, which generates the illusion of a consensus reality. All these people are both headed down the same road and not, because heading down the road is a unique experience of self. The illusions and paradoxes serve to generate an experience complex, visceral, immersive, and grandiose enough to not seem like illusions and paradoxes, wherein you can easily live and die never having to question or think about this stuff. Many people are raised with a certain narrative about the nature of reality and take it to the grave, making sure to pass that narrative on to the next generation. One of those narratives being the stereotype story that generates in your mind while seeing a character you think you know the personal narrative of. The illusions and paradoxes function in a way that allows you to not easily notice them as illusions or paradoxes. Thus, you have a concrete, tangible, real experience of phenomena that when examined fully are not concrete or tangible in that examining context. Something being an illusion doesn't mean you can't have a real experience of it. Just like you know when you watch a movie, you can laugh, cry, be scared, or shocked and learn all sorts of things, all by watching colorful light coming from a screen. Just how you can look at completely meaningless light and form a meaningful, lasting relationship to that observation. What you experience as the physical world is composed of its own unique and naturally immersive illusions. What is being defined as an illusion is a phenomenon or quality that appears to be a certain way, but upon examination is found to be something totally different. This kind of explanation for illusion is different than complete fraud. For example, having the ability to look like someone else doesn't make you that person. What is being defined as a paradox is a phenomenon or quality that appears contradictory in structure, wherein polarized aspects of that paradox may seem conflicting or self-negating but nevertheless exists as one whole concept. A good example of an illusion that makes up your reality experience is space. Space is an illusion because no matter where you seem to travel, you are generating that experience within one spot that is your consciousness which is also the one momentary volume where you exist. Hence the term space-time, which equates space and time as one. A paradox that is coupled with this space illusion is the concept of stasis. The fact that there is only one spot wherein the illusion of motion can be had means that motion is actually another expression of stasis. Static momentary states of physical phenomena are being used to build the experience of motion and travel. The definition of stasis something being motionless, contrasts motion's definition by being another side of the same coin. Speaking of change and stasis, things in your reality are constantly changing, but the fact that things constantly change doesn't change. This is because the one momentary volume of time where you exist allows for the real, tangible, physical experience of multiple moments in linear continuity. Another example of a foundational reality illusion is time. There's only one moment, yet that moment constantly changes in a way that renders the past and future both completely nullified and completely relevant. The past and the future obviously exist, but they aren't truly experiential. You technically only ever experience one moment, 
yet the style and rate the phenomena within the one moment changes is too fast for your nervous system to perceive it as discontinuously continuous so you can have linear storied experiences. An example of a paradox is the fact that you have a sensorial experience that amounts to an outer reality, yet that outer reality is entirely predicated upon an internal brain state, which is also affected and predicated upon the outer reality. Your reality experience is your experience of self as a consciousness. Your consciousness is what makes all the illusions real. Whether you are awake, physically walking down the street, or if you are asleep, experiencing a non-physical reality flying around like Superman, the overall message to bring to bear in all this is that your experience of you is the actual reality. The stuff you think you're experiencing is an aspect of the illusions and paradoxes. And remember, none of this is validating solipsism, which negates the autonomous realness of all the other expressions of consciousness in your reality. People, cats, dogs, etc. are obviously real entities with their own equally yet uniquely rich awareness of self. The other beings in your reality even though in another context you could say you're all one complex sentient structure, are expressed through illusion and paradox, just like you. Your mediums and faculties of perception are as real as what you perceive because the observer and the observed are two sides of the same coin. Although, the physical and mental phenomena you perceive and experience, despite their overt solidity, are still subject to change in a hallucinatory way. Now let's clarify some common ideas about reality and illusion. Due to the extremely poetic nature of language, different phrases explaining this stuff can be easily misinterpreted. When exploring the nature of reality, you must remember that context is key. For instance, an experience such as pain is obviously not an illusion because the concept of pain exists within the real experience of time, albeit time is an illusion. Something being an illusion doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means it's not as it seems. And it's also important to note that none of this talk of illusion and reality is attempting to negate or sugarcoat the harsh realities of the physical world. Suffering exists in all sorts of ways, and life isn't always pretty. The issue with reality and illusion being seemingly contradictory is a semantic, contextual issue. If someone says something is an illusion, people might interpret that as saying, that thing doesn't exist, or that thing isn't real, when the person who said that can mean either or neither. But mechanically speaking, something being an illusion doesn't mean it doesn't exist, and doesn't mean it isn't a real thing. The thing it is, is simply not what it seems. In an informal context, you could say that something being an illusion makes it not real, and still be logically valid in that context. That's why it's so easy to debate whether time is real or unreal, because the different positions are actually both right and are saying the same thing, but in different contexts. Informally speaking, time being both real and fake is what makes it an illusion. Illusions are real, solid, tangible, hold in your hand, throw against a wall, see it under a microscope phenomena. It's just that the illusions are structured in a way that makes your interaction with it easily invalidated or validated within different contexts. A previously mentioned example being the fact that a movie is colorful light coming off a screen. That doesn't mean you can't have real life-changing experiences of what that colorful light symbolizes and learn new and valuable things about yourself, other people, and the entire world around you. Another common concept about reality that needs clarifying is that there is no reality. In the general sense, this simply means that time is an illusion. It's referring to the fact that the linear continuity that gives context to the physical universe is created in the moment, and in a general sense, you could say that negates what most people call reality, which is commonly defined as the state in which things are compared to how they are. 
In a mechanical sense, the concept of there is no reality is obviously false, because there has to be a reality in order for someone to even conceive of the phrase. Ultimately, mechanically speaking, there is no reality beyond experience, regardless of how you label that experience. There will never be, and has never been, a fact or phenomenon that can contradict this self-demonstrating axiom. And to clarify a bit more, what is being discussed has absolutely nothing to do with what most people say they are experiencing or have experienced, because people can misinterpret things, unknowingly embellish their experiences, and even flat out lie. What's meant by there being no reality beyond experience is that the experience is the only thing that exists, and how people choose to label or describe it, scientifically, mythologically, or otherwise, is merely a description being created within one's experience. Also, what's being discussed is not about what is true or false. Those are definitions about space-time phenomena created within one's reality experience. Something being labeled real, fake, true or false is a semantic issue because everyone has their own perspective and way to define things, albeit deemed logical or illogical to others. Reality isn't about logic or illogic. Fundamentally, reality isn't about anything. Whatever reality seems to be about is a definition you're creating for yourself to experience. Reality is simply experience. You are the universe.